Hi folks, welcome to another episode of Angry TV with me, Angry Britain, off the Twitter, which is one of these. Um, right, so I have um, been out and had my subwoofer fitted yesterday, um, along with parking sensors, and um, yeah, the team down at Enhanced did an absolutely wicked job, really neat, really tidy, really nice guys. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. So um, obviously you've seen the car with the sub not installed, so I'm going to take you outside now and we're going to go and have a look at it all done. And uh, you can have a listen and see what you think, but I think it sounds absolutely wicked for the price of it, what it costs. It's yeah, it just it give, it's given me that that low end that was really missing, and it's got a really nice little kick to it too. So let's nip outside and go and see what you think. Right, folks. So we're set up as we were before. Um, we've got a remote control over in the glove box um, that gives you gain and crossover and uh, sub phase. So we've got the gain set at about 90%, the crossover set at about 100 hertz, and the sub is in phase. Um, so uh, yeah, let's uh, let's have a look at um, what it sounds like. We've got the same uh, same song as before, um, royalty free again, just um, for YouTube purposes. Uh, let's see what it sounds like. So obviously, as before, this has been recorded on a Go, uh, sorry, Rode Video Micro, but I think you can probably hear even at a low volume. There's much more low end to the sound. Ramp it up a bit. So we turn it down so we don't annoy the neighbours. Um, so anyway, uh, I think you, you can agree that that sounds absolutely wicked and is worth every penny of the 109 quid that it costs and 100 quid to get it fitted. Um, it's really improved the, the sound of the stereo, no end. I now don't think we're gonna have to upgrade the head unit, which is really cool. Um, so there you go, some JBLs and a uh, sub in the boot and you've got a stereo that puts most manufacturers ones to shame. So this is the little uh, remote that you get. I've got to get in there and, and uh, loosen it up a bit. It's a bit um, a bit tight where they've put it. Um, but as you can see, you've got the gain here at the top, gain here at the top, frequency here, and the phase of the sub here. So I've got the gain set at about 90%. Frequency is about 100 hertz, so it's not overstretching the sub because otherwise it can sound a bit boomy and a bit clipped. Um, and then the phase, obviously, it's in phase because it seems to be it seems to be that that's that's kind of where it needs to be for um, for the purposes of this. So. Yeah, so I've got to get in there and loosen it up because it's a bit, it's a bit tight and a bit unusable there. Um, so yeah, that's fine. But that's only a tiny little job. It will take all of five minutes. Right, folks. So there you go. So that's um, that's what the sub sounds like uh, in the car. Um, I think it sounds absolutely amazing. I think it probably puts most like manufacturer upgrade hi-fis to shame um so yeah well happy with that um sounds awesome i now haven't got to upgrade the head unit which is really cool i might swap it out for the seven inch one but that's just literally should be plug and play and a bit of coding which is really good so yeah well happy with that so that's the kenwood ksc um, sw11 under seat sub obviously mine's in the boot 
but it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, there you go. So you don't have to spend a fortune to get your um, a bath or well sort of any car really hi-fi sounding decent um my speakers were 100 quid that was 100 quid i fitted my front speakers that's been done for 100 so for 300 quid you can have a really decent sounding car hi-fi so yeah that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you for the next one cheers